Hello everybody, you're listening to another episode of The Revenants of Cert, The Song and the Sword. My name is Demon, I will be your Dungeon Master. Joining us today is Matt playing Gowrin. Huzzah. And Ben playing Moraine. Hey, honeys. Alright, um, chapter 5, which means you're all level 3 now, correct? Mm-hmm. Woo! Okay. Um, level 3 fighter and happening bard. Um, so, you left Elfwood, there's not much to do, and you chose to go the route of Cain's Glade and then River Cross, because the other way just goes straight to Colina. Mm. Um, Cain's Glade is a very interesting place. Um, it is a small settlement of humans and hobbies, actually. So there's little winged bird people sort of thing, and just docile people. Um, it's interesting, but nothing of any real note. River Cross is essentially what it is. It's the convergence points of the North Elf River and the South Elf River um, merge into just the Elf River, which comes from the Elven Sea. Surprise. <laughs> um, so, it's two rivers that converge, and there's a town right in the delta of it. Oh, delta is the word, the convergence point. Um, this is a very heavy logging area. This is where they all the loggers come to the river cross. They get bundled up and ship south. Um, they do a lot of charcoal and other good stuff. Um, you picked up some new armor, correct? Mm-hmm. Um, what was that? I picked up some uh, studded leather. Okay. So, Gowron, why don't you give us a description of your character? All right, Gowron's a Six foot two, human, male, blonde hair, blue eyes. Has been notoriously good with two-handed uh, axes, weapons, and stuff like that. He is chaotic, good. Right. Um, traveling alongside him down there. <laughs> is that thing? Hey, it's Honey. My name is Merton. Marion left foot, and I'm short. <laughs> we know you're short. Hair color? What are you um, wearing? Oh, yeah, she's wearing a nice dress. Okay. And she's has a blonde hair, brown eyes, beautiful brown eyes, that entrance everyone as they, uh, they when that she meets. Carrying a ukulele. Well, um, river crossing, as I said, little town, first since the river. Um, nothing really interesting. There's no odd jobs or anything for you to actually take, or at least it does not appear to be so. Um, there is another little message board, which seems to be a um, thing in most places. And standing there looking slightly confused, a whole bunch of maps. It's something that you normally don't see in the province of Akuna. And that is a dwarf. So, he's standing by the board. He's got a map. It's clearly of the Republic of Alioth. And he's got like another map. And it's the province of Akuna. And he's kind of looking around. Judging what he's um, doing next. Um, four foot, four or five. Okay. I think he's about the average height of a dwarf. Um, very wide, uh, very wide, sturdy build. Um, he's got a pack that's got a lot of like scroll cases on it, and um, there's a pick instead of where you would normally keep a weapon. He has a pick. I wonder if he's lost. <laughs> what do you think? Should we go ask him if he's lost? I'm lost. <laughs> Aren't we all lost? Let's all ponder this for a moment. I'm lost. I can't find my mommy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> they can't go find some other guy. <laughs> 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 
Well, thank you. Too. <laughs> if only I would have taken no direction. Oh, it's a spell. Oh. <laughs> no direction. I want to go somewhere. Where do I go? It doesn't work if I don't have a destination. <laughs> I can tell it face north. <laughs> nope. Okay, well, I have uh, hey, lost dwarves. They're lost, and we're even more lost than them. So uh, let's let's go see what he wants. No, okay. let's go see what he thinks. No, I don't know. Okay, I well, I approach the dwarf and say, "Hey." Okay. He's gonna. Doesn't look like it. Put his map down. He looks at you. He looks kind of up. They're like, "Hello." You seem like you're looking for something. I was uh, just wondering if I should um, head to Kalea today, or if I should wait till tomorrow. I'm just actually going through Kalea. Kalea is a bigger town, correct? Yeah, it's slightly bigger than this. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm probably going to head to Kalea today. Hmm. What business do you have there? Oh, I'm actually just passing through. Though I do kind of want to hire some people to go with my caravan. Um, we're going to be heading south to the rift. Hmm. We're thinking about uh, heading in that kind of direction. You want us to accompany you? Oh, I'd love the company. How about it, Marie? He's hiring, right? Yes. Go we'll get some money from him. Yeah. How much is this pay? Oh, uh, well, it's going to be um, a certain amount of days' journey, which I can't remember. Because you will be telling is three days. Well, um, from Kalea to where I'm going, the pay is 20 gold per person, and limit of three people. Okay. Because I don't have, I'm not made of money, you know. <laughs> yeah, I'm okay. Yeah. Um, I'm honestly not paying to get from Rivers Cross to Kalea because the roads up here are pretty safe in this area. Okay. All right, well, well I'll accept. But if you, wanna, if you want to just come with me, hey, that's great. Let's go. And uh, if you don't like me by the time I get to Kalea, then, yeah, no harm, no foul. But, uh, and then I'll pay you if you want to just continue going away. Yeah, nice job. Yeah. Sounds great. So. More adventures. I can tell you about adventures, you know. Ah. And she starts ranting on about adventures. She listens intently. Oh, good. I love intent and listeners. All right. Um, so this guy introduces himself as Ion Stoneborn. He is an archaeologist, and he's looking for a, essentially a, what he believes is possibly a lost dwarven city. Uh, strangely enough, it's in the middle of the plains, which is why it's kind of like a rumored fable city, because dwarves in the plains now don't really fit well. Mm -hmm. uh, but he's got some theories. And um, he's got a little caravan, a little mule. And uh, a small caravan with uh, it's got a one person room kind of thing, a bed and some supplies in there. And uh, he's a pretty easy going guy. Um, he definitely likes exchanging stories about uh, anything you can give him, and he gives you a lot of uh, stuff about the Dwarven people up in his kingdom. Uh, he is from the Northern Range. Now, the Northern Range is a province of the uh, Republic of Alioth. However, it is pretty much strictly a... It's a portion of the Dwarven Kingdom. Okay. The southern face of the mountains is part of the Republic of Alioth. But the Dwarven Kingdom itself is both the southern part of the mountains and the northern side of the mountains, which is borders another country. So it's kind of like in one of those little gray areas, hmm. um, but it's um, it's where a lot of ore and stuff comes from, and dwarven goods and whatnot. And everybody knows it's there. Um, it takes a long time to get to this area. You basically have to travel around the east, the west coast of the coastline, and go all the way up the river. Um, so he's been traveling quite a ways before he got here. And um, he also tells you the story that he didn't, he didn't realize that there was a faster way mm -hmm. if he took a right at the shed. 
Um, that waters me. So he's a little depressed about that, but it's only a couple days extra. So um, he's been traveling probably a good couple months. Hmm. Anyway, um, not much interesting happens. No attacks by barbarians or whatnot. Um, you do start to see a, after a good probably um, after about four days travel you enter the rift and a day into the rift you actually exit the forest and you are in the plains. And uh, it goes from dense forest to scattered trees and shrubs and almost savannah type style. So there's wow. plains, a couple trees every once in a while. Um, you see like a large grazing animals or another. And the reason you need protection in this area is because it's so close to the centaur territories. And the centaur ter centaurs and the humans don't always get along in this case. But, um, not the centaurs at this moment. You see town up ahead. And unfortunately, as this town kind of comes up into view, the wagon kind of goes. <coughs> and that stops your little party. Um, Ian gets off his thing, looks at the wheel, and says, Well, I do got a spare wheel. Um, Give me a hand, Garen. Can you give me a hand um, lifting this thing up here? And, uh, you help him prop it up, and he's like, "Well, it's gonna be a while before I get this um, fixed up. You wanna just go on ahead? I'll, uh, I'll meet you there when I get to the uh, when I get this fixed. We'll just stay at the end here tonight." So, okay. All right. Well, suppose so. So there is a small town ahead. Now this um, this mission was not exactly in the it was not going to be in the book. Um, however, it gets to be in the podcast. Yay! And I totally stole this from somebody else. <coughs> How dare you! you give it back. Oh, he's cool about it. What's up, Ben? You take it back. Oh, I'm yeah. sorry. I didn't steal it from him. So you walk into the town. Small little village. Um, you see people walking around, just kind of milling about. <clears throat> um, you get to a little square area, and there's a bunch of, you know, stands and whatnot, and everybody's milling up. Everybody's all smiles, and everybody that walk, you walk past is like, Good day. How are you? Hi, hi. How's it going, hi? That's good. Oh, oh. Great. how about you? <laughs> Would you like a potato? Oh, potatoes. I love potatoes. He reaches in a sack, hands you a potato. Biddy. I was going to say a Lord of the Rings reference there, but I'm not going to. Okay, well, uh, I just press the digitation and make it a hot potato. Okay, you now have a hot potato that's too hot to hold. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. <laughs> Here. Let's roll it out. It's like, God. Catch it in my backpack. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't have a hot potato. Here's a fun ring. <laughs> That's the point of her. Just be wacky. Um. Okay. So. Hello. Hi. How are you? I'm good. How about you? I'm good. I'm good too. That's great. Oh, great. Would you like a carrot? I love a carrot. I've got carrots. And he pulls out and hands you a carrot. Press the sensation. <laughs> Only I make it just warm enough to eat and be yummy. Okay. You have a just warm enough to eat and be yummy. Oh, let me see your potato again. Okay. Look. I just press the digitation and make them slightly buttery. There you go. Oh, that's awesome. But it's a little bit of spice. 
So, you're in town. Catch the Andrew's locks. Every, everybody seems to be really cheerful and really happy. It's kind of unnerving. Dear God, is this what everyone else thinks of me? Um, okay, so uh, I, I go up to the nearest person and ask them, well, uh, what's going on around this, this great, beautiful country? Mm-hmm. And everyone seems, seems so nice and happy. Oh, not much going on. We're just, uh, we're just here. Oh, everything's good. What's going on with you? Oh, you know, just traveling. Cool. And more traveling. That's nice. Yeah. Something's a mess here. Yeah. Do you want a potato? I love a potato. Can't see a potato. Oh, good. I use prestidigitation and make it smelly. And I say, you have given me a smelly potato. Oh. Would you like a different one? I would like a different one. You have to do a different one. I do the same thing. <laughs> would you like a different one? Yes, and I don't repeat that and just walk on. Okay. Uh, I'm trying to find... So let's go, is there a temple we can get to? Uh, there is a small temple to, uh, let's say, or still we got in the park. Okay. Kind of come on. It's like, it's more like a little chapel than a temple. Shrine. Yeah. Shrine of the Silver Monkey. You guys don't remember that show. Are you there? There's the guy. Priesty, dressed up like a priest person. He's pretty happy. Hmm. Hello, how are you? Okay, great. Um, I'm feeling really uncomfortable. Oh, what's the problem? Everybody's too friendly. That would make you uncomfortable? Well, I'm not uncomfortable. I want to know why you guys are so friendly, so I can be so friendly. Well, I'm friendly people. Just friendly people. Just friendly people. Okay. Um, dang, I didn't take detect magic. I'm going to read magic. Um, you know, it's in the college type, right? Oh, I suppose so. Um, our kind of check of 15? Mm. Yeah, there's something strange about this place. But you can't quite pinpoint it. Yeah. Okay. Like, like, it's almost like the feelings are being sucked out. Like the, the bad feelings. Okay, well, there's a cycling effect that you can't pinpoint it. You can't pinpoint it. Okay. In they fact, Gowran, yeah, I'm feeling pretty good. Okay. Oh, we'll see. Oh, God, I'm lying. Yeah, do a will save. Yeah, do a will save. Nope. So what did you get? I got, uh, eight. Eight, okay. Yeah, you're feeling pretty good. You always feel this. Oh, wait, yeah. here. <laughs> <laughs> Moraine is awesome. Okay. Well, did anything uh, happen recently? Any, you know... Uh, Thomas gave me a potato. That was nice of them. It's the potatoes! Oh my god! 
And I ate, no, wait, you ate one. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. But I ate a carrot. <gasps> oh, yeah. Carrot gave me a carrot, too. Okay. Okay, besides that, has anything cropped up like uh, uh, towers or mages or, you know, like people singing songs of happiness or, you know? You're the first people I've seen come through here in almost a week. Okay. Who was the last? Travelers. They stayed at the end. Head south. Hmm. Okay, well, um... Roll a perception check. Yeah. I'm just worried about the potatoes. Yeah. <laughs> That's 12. <laughs> yeah. Everybody here is pretty happy. places to stay for the night. Well, this is an inn. It's an inn indeed. That's great. Yeah, um, we have to stay upstairs. There's a bunch of fire beetles in the basement. Oh, fire beetles. Yeah. Do you want me to get them out? Okay. Oh, good. Do you have any beetle cages? No. Never thought of a beetle cage. I love the beetle. I love the beetle cage. Okay. So, is there anything I can get to make a beetle cage to get fire beetles? That's obviously fireproof. There sure, will be fire beetles. You can go ask people for some random pieces of anything. Yeah, I'll, I'll just and call something. I'm gonna get something. They're there. happy to give you stuff. Yeah, I'll just make a beetle cage and go get the beetles. Okay, I'm gonna go back to that uh, shop and ask for some gold. What are you with this stuff? Here, you can have some of my gold. Ding. Gold? Here you go. Hands you five gold. <laughs> Sweet. So, you gotta go to the basement? Yep. Okay. Um, so you're in the basement in the end. Yep. You realize there's fire beetles. Okay. And you realize that there's something tasty. 
Oh, hi there. Are you with Are you with her? I'm at the entrance at the top. Okay. Um, so I suppose things without intelligence aren't affected by the uh, non-helpful thing. Yeah, you should probably go in this. Thirteen. Twenty one. Oh, <laughs> A six, yeah, I know, because that's pretty yeah. awesome. Pretty much you're like, I'm first now. <laughs> well, that's the way it needs to be. And to help you out in combat, I now have point blank shot and precise shot. Ooh. Uh, that's what I use that other heat for. Yes. So, uh, I don't take. Okay, uh, Okay, wait, what was yours? 21. And his? Uh, 13. Those are big beetles, not small beetles. No. Red, black, anything over twenty. Yeah, they're big beetles. Okay. They're big beetles. Like they're not too big to handle, but they're pretty big. They're cat size. Oh. Oh my god. I should have used handle animal. Brown. <laughs> you know I'm gonna kill them. Purple. <laughs> Something's gonna try to bite and kill me, I'm gonna kill it. Alright. A total of six beetles. And they're just kinda of milling around eating some stuff and uh, burning some barrels. Barrels. And I totally want to catch one of these ones. And it is indeed Gower and gets to go first, because he rolled the best. Yay! Gower! There are six. So. Do you want me to kill him or do you want to save him? Well, I want to save at least one. Okay, but you can kill all the rest, I guess. Alright. Okay. Woo! That purple. Alright. Fifteen. Um. Bennett. Roll for damage. That is twelve. Purple dies. It is Red's turn. Red is going to go up to you and take a chop. Uh, he rolls a 19. That's hits. That is 4 damage. Ouch. Okay. And now it's Jack's turn. Jack's going to go up to you and he's going to take a chop. And uh, he's going to miss. And now it is Moraine's turn. Okay. Well, um, I take up my bow with a quick, sh- quick draw and uh, shoot into combat now that I can and get the black one. Well, I suppose I should say that because you have a cleave, so uh, I'll instead go, go for that. Sparkles? Sparkles. Nope. <laughs> okay. You shoot and you miss. It is Brown's turn. Brown is going to go chomp on Gowron. Ten versus AC. Sixteen. Okay. He is now Purple's dead. Sparkle's turn. Sparkle is going to go chomp on Moraine. Seven versus AC. Don't get the roll of my shit. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> and... Oh, don't you have... Can't you cleave him? Do you? Oh, okay. So well, they didn't come up to me. I was only fighting one, and they kind of surrounded me. Okay. You're going to do turn. <laughs> Yellow is gonna come chomp on Garen. No. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. I got six, right? Yeah. Um perfect or blue's gonna come sixteen versus AC. Sixteen. Alright, so it does hit. And it does one point of damage. Mm. Okay. One, two, three. It is Gowan's turn. He takes 10 points of da- fire damage. I do? Yep. What? You take 10 points of fire damage. How? It is the Beatles' aura. No? <laughs> yep. Mm, I don't think so. Yep. <laughs> nope, my armor protects me. Nope. <laughs> yep. No. Why, did you get a, a save or anything? Yeah. No, good. Um, this Beatles kind of... For 40. So. Well, the what? It was taken from 40. Oh, okay. Alright. Um, what? 
You know what? Well, I guess it makes sense because this always has a save. Um, give me a save for half damage. What would that be? Um, for two. Nine. You take ten points of damage. <laughs> I deflected. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. So, expedious retreat um, or something. Yeah, I have nothing that can help with this. I can make it cooler, <laughs> but not enough to actually do anything. All right. Never mind. Whose turn is it now? Gowans. Yes, Gowans. Retreat. We can, I suppose. Essentially, what we need to do is make it so that they're not all surrounding you. Well, you do have a staircase, so yeah, uh, that's give a thing, I guess. Essentially, say. maybe there's a, fu- a funnel point. Okay, we need to get up to the funnel point and then just back them off. Keep me about that gives them an attack of opportunity, though. All of them. Don't die. Um, well, you can. Okay. I'll let you get by on this one because I did pull monster from a different edition. <laughs> um, so I'll jump backwards into the funnel area. Yes, there it is. Sure. Uh, I'll let you do that. Um, so, this is a move. Um, did you want to try to kill somebody before you move? Can I attack and then attempt to move? Yeah, you can attack and move. All right. So do yourself a cleave or something. Oh, I'll, I'll try to cleave. Try to move. Yeah. I forget how cleave works. So I roll for the first one. If that successfully hits, and I can roll for the second. Yep. <laughs> I don't think so. That's gonna be eight. No. Okay, you're back. <laughs> okay. Alright. Um, Galarin, it is Red's turn. Red's going to come at you. Oh, crap. He's going to jump at you for 10 versus 18. Nope. Great. Um, Man, I really need Black. Black's kind of in the middle of nowhere. You can't really get anywhere. It is Red's turn. You take four points of fire damage. Yay! Uh, okay. Um, can we saving throw? Do a saving throw. Oh, great. I decided okay. to give you saving throws. No, nope. no. You take four points of fire damage. Okay. Uh, let me change the damage there to one. Okay. It's entirely possible this doesn't work for you, right? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to withdraw behind Galrin. But I suppose um, I won't be able to heal him then, right? Why not? I walk too much. I oh, well, I move. move. Oh, okay, and then yeah. I, I, like I said, I, I give you this one just because I was surprised okay. that lost from another. How much? Room. Okay, yeah, this this will work. So um, <coughs> I heal you for eight uh, eight points. Eight, <laughs> eight damage. You yeah. heal me for eight damage. Yes. Okay. And then we're going to get rammed again. That's a fine. Alright. Um, there will only be one beetle a turn, so... Brown comes up to you. You take a chomp for a crit. Um, that'd be four damage. Ouch. Um, next is Sparkle. Sparkle will get over here. Next is Yellow. Yellow. Here, then it's blue, and blue will come up here. It is Galrin's turn. Do a saving throw. Half damage on one. Okay. 21. You take one point of damage. Yay! <laughs> okay. Now it's my turn. Yes. I'm going to attack the brown one. Attach the bits. That is a. Eleven. Eleven does not hit. That's seven. Wait, no. That's a nine, isn't it? 
Yes, 9 plus F's 14. That is. I'm sorry. And you kill him. I don't even have to roll. Your strength mod kills him. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> smash, 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 smash. <laughs> Remember, we gotta keep one alive, man. <laughs> um, red can't get closer. Um, black can't get closer. It is Marine's turn. Okay, arrow of. Uh, yeah, you know, I'll just I'll you shoot you here on an arrow. What's that? You can have an arrow. Yeah. Okay. Um, seventeen. The bats. Okay. D four plus one, five damage. Which one did you shoot? Uh, just straight ahead. Yellow is dead. He dies. I got one. <laughs> All right, um, Sparkle. He's gonna chop on Gowra for twelve versus eighteen. Nope. Um, blue can't do anything. So, Gowra. Yay! Attempt attack, Sparkle. Oh, you take do a saving throw. Oh. Nineteen plus uh, uh, one points of damage. Yes. I'm, I'm actually pretty good, though, technically speaking. Uh, attack. And I fail horribly. Let's see how bad I do for a failure. Critical fail. Ah, six. Um, how's it going? Red move closer. Black move closer. Moraine. Arrow. If it hits? Yes. And... Three points of damage. Sparkles? Yep. He's bloody. Oh dear. They do not help. Yeah. <laughs> um, nobody can do anything except for Sparkle. You can make an attack. He's going to hit you for one point of damage. <laughs> and I can do the same thing for the one. Uh, no. Is it Wait, yes, or? yes, it is your turn. So this is, is the, because it's the start of your turn. You do 17, so 21. You take one point of damage. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me once to get around another 10 points down. No, no, I'd be dead. I got 10 health. Okay. All right, attack. 15 plus... That is. <laughs> okay, 17. Uh, and then I kill him, I guess. Yeah. Burgle is down. It is Red's turn. Red will make an attack. And he will bite you for, um, like, 12 versus 18. Nope. Okay. It is black, but I can't go. Moraine? Okay. I attack again. Uh, can I shoot him? Or does he have cover for being... He probably does have half cover, huh? Um, negative 2 to attack roll. Okay. You hit him. Hit. Oot. Four damage. He does. <laughs> it is blue. Um, that means it is Garen's turn to resist the fire aura. Yes. Roll 16. One plus. points of damage. Natural 20. He's dead. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we gotta save this one. Okay, um, what do we do? Grapple it? Uh, I made a flex turn. He goes to chunk you. Uh, Timber is anything. No. Okay. Will the cage I made hold him? Roll me a d20. What's that? Roll me a d20. Okay. <laughs> no. Uh, no, it will not. You man. hold it up. Like, I got the cage, and like, it falls apart. <laughs> I was really not expecting big beetles. Okay, well, um, I guess we can sell their parts or something. I was hoping to keep it alive. Um, I shoot. I don't shoot it. Apparently, just arrows go wide. Yep. Um, Darren, should I get happened? I guess I can't. I have nothing to put it into. So, what was that? It's a Two plus you take two points of damage. <laughs> Twenty. You crit <laughs> him. Not only do I kill it, but it is. 
Okay. Well, surprise! <laughs> I tried to throw something interesting at you. I didn't realize that they were like gonna like do as much damage on one turn as yeah. they Yeah. You look a little warm there. Um, I'm, I think I need to lay down. Yeah, here's another heal. Well, you're at the bottom of an inn. Yeah, so. I'm gonna go upstairs and lay down for a couple, three weeks. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I'll take care of you, buddy. Despite the fact that you're hurt, I feel really happy. Yay! Huzzah! So he's gonna go lay down. Ian comes in. He's like, what the hell's wrong with everybody? Um. There's some kind of magical something or other that's screwing with everyone's minds. And uh, apparently Gal Garland's really happy to now. Yay! Y'all can roll me a perception check. 18. 10. Okay. Um... Even with an 18? Wow. Okay. Um, wait. Yeah, whatever the hell. Um, sure, what the hell. <laughs> if you think we don't see it, then no, we don't see it. So. Okay. I mean, Maureen's going to... I mean, something on these beetles got to be worth something. Oh, yeah. They're fire beetles. You can go harvest them for... Fire beetles, sacks. Okay, sure. Do you think their armor would provide a little d six? Okay, d six. Five. Um, you have five fire beetle sacks. Okay. Do they the just sacks armor them? provide armor? Like a no, they were pretty squishy. Okay. <laughs> I was gonna say like the heat versus heat. Or something. Oh, versus like, heat. Like get them made into some kind of little armor. Mm. And then they'd be like, hey, there's some heat resistance, okay. but uh, armor plus heat. You have some bugs. Okay, fire okay. beetles game. Okay, so Garen's taking a nap because he's pretty good. And they just have to stay today. The rooms are free. Yay! The meal's free. Yay! The rooms are nice and clean. Yay! Okay. So, um, stay the night? <laughs> I don't want to stay the night because everyone's getting really creepy. We need to go out, you know, get some like fresh air. But uh, I'll do whatever the if the north thinks we need to stay the night. Then well, he's weirded out, but doesn't seem to have anything affecting him. Okay, how am I? He's got a potato. He's eating a potato. Don't eat the potatoes. Slap it on his. All right, we're all good. Uh, I'm not sure if they're good for us or not, but uh, if you want, I can always always warm it too and make it spicy. Please. Rest the dictation. I love you guys. Best spell ever. <laughs> All right. Um, so okay. Yeah, I'm gonna stay the night. All right. So you wake up. You're all back to health and full and whatnot. Woot! Yay! Gowron. Uh, Life is great. Yeah. It's amazing. Huzzah! Hi. You're really weirded out. <laughs> yeah, wow. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> okay, well, Galvin, what's going on? I don't know. What's going on with you? Everybody can roll me a perception check. Yep. Nope. I need my one eye on. Ten. <laughs> Everybody's looking at Galvin, including Galvin. Hey. <laughs> I feel so happy. Ah. Alright, um, so you exit the place. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Okay, okay we exit it's... the place. Yeah, he's gonna kind of push him along. Oh, if, if you want to be helpful, you have to come with us. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll carry you, okay? Oh, no, no, no. You put me down, you, you fiend. You're very agreeable. Okay. <laughs> Alright, um, I'm gonna give you another procession check, and I'm gonna take the negative five off the freaking DC. Yeah, let's see. 20. Um, plus five. 25. Let's see. 14 plus nine. Four. Now you roll. 
Yeah, yeah. Okay, you got a 24, you got a net 20, so you know it's the right amount. Jaron's like, what's with all the squishy pink dots? What? It does, he points it out, you notice them too. And there's these little fuzzy squishy pink dots like in the corners of buildings and kind of in random places. And you also notice that there's a higher concentration the more you get towards town hall. Okay, um, does anything happen if we go up to the little pink dots? They scare you away? No. Just sits there. It's just like little pink dots on the building. I changed the color of the dot with person digitation. <laughs> Alright, they, like, they make like wiggles. And, like, kind of freaks out for a moment, and then kind of shrivels away. Rain puts up her hand, starts screaming, and goes running around. Like, oh my god, it's alive! I killed it! Oh my god! <laughs> this is really funny. I'm, I'm laughing. There's a lot of people laughing at you. Oh, I'm sure there are. Okay, how many dots are around the inn? Mm-hmm. Just an average amount. But it does, like, they're everywhere. Okay. But they seem to get slightly larger and slightly more common the more you get towards the town hall. Okay. I start prestidigitationing all the dots. Okay. Do, 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 do. Right. Okay. Like, uh, what, would, what happened? Is there anything, does anything change inside the, like, the inn when I do that? Nothing seems to happen when you just dissolve some pink dots. Ah, they shrivel. Okay. Hmm. Okay, well, like, they're like little fuzzy balls, and they range from like marble size to like softball size. If I touch one, it's just a fuzzy dot. When I touch one, it feels fuzzy. It makes you feel good inside. Oh, blue. <laughs> blue. Oh dear God. Hey, buddy, what's up with the little pink dots? What pink dots? These pink dots, I point to them and then I turn one blue and it shrivels away. <laughs> well, that's interesting. This is yeah. pretty cool. Can you do it again? Yes, I can. Do, 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 do. He follows you watch and he's, he's impressed by the pink dot. So, <laughs> so am I. Dear <laughs> God. Okay, well, come on, boys, let's go to this inn and. Um, What's this inn? inn? The town hall. Is. The town hall. Okay. Alright, along the way, I keep on. Um, <laughs> With great prejudice. Killing really pink dots. Yes. Alright. Can they be affected by Mage Hand too? If they're um, sure. under five. Okay, so. <laughs> mage Hand? What do you do with the Mage Hand? I uh, just take them and toss them. Toss them? Yeah. They just kind of like bounce a little bit when they hit the ground and are fine. Mm. Okay, I keep my turn. <laughs> I'll die, little dots. I wonder what happens when they turn on black. Oh, let's try that. Different colors. Black. Same effect. Oh, okay. Rainbow. Puce. Beige. Cyan. <laughs> Violet. Tripping. Tripping. Yeah, yeah, that's a color, right? I don't know. Rainbow. <laughs> yes. Okay, so we go to the town hall. Alright, go to the town hall. Yep. You open the door. Yep. This place is with little pink things. Alright, it goes walking around. Yep. And pink things. Alright, so on this adventure. You enter the doorway. Moraine's in the middle of the room. Thing doing pink dot. Dot the side. Explosions. Ion's here again. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I look around as I kill more dots. Okay. Um, building seems to be empty. Where are you going? What are you doing? I'm uh, in a happy mood, but... Right? Yeah, you're in a happy mood. But you still walk around. I mean, yeah. free will? Still? Yeah, you still have free will. You're just really happy. Okay. Like, I everything's will... great. I will use... Night here. Oh, that's 
pessoas no áudio. Bacana. Let's see if that's a spell. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. I will investigate. Around, let's look around. Open doors. Okay. Open doors. Want to do a perception check? Yep. Hey, wait a second. There's lots of out. Um, are you singing a Pink Dot Killing song? I'm, yes, I am. Little Pink Dot, Little Pink Dot, Little Pink Dot, Dot! <laughs> He's giving it a reroll. Who is? Yeah, me. That's a 16. Alright. Um, you're walking through this room. There's big pink dots. The ones that are higher are smaller than the ones that are lower. Is there a door into like a cellar or a basement? Uh, you do find a door that seems to go downstairs. So, it goes the door that goes downstairs. What are you doing at this moment? I'm killing dots. You're killing dots. If it's, I mean, is there a, like a ton of them in here? Like, it would take me hours to do? It is. Um, but you're killing dots and Ion locks up behind you. Ion's a lot heavier than you. Yeah. You and Ion are going to roll a reflex saving throw. Okay. Eighteen. Okay. Um, the floor caves in. Um, you are fast enough to scramble yourself to the side of the edge of the caved-in area. Ion is lying flat on his back on the on the basement level. Okay. And I remember when I said they're like softball sized big ones. Well, there's one that's like refrigerator sized. And oh, oh my god. There's a lot down here. And then a door opens and Gowron pops out. <laughs> and he is downstairs. Oh! <laughs> oh my god, what are you down there? And Gowron's like, oh, do you need help? Just <laughs> please. I help him up. Okay, he helped the dwarf up. He dusts himself off. Ah, that hurt. <laughs> He's not a very nimble guy. <laughs> is he no longer in a good mood? He didn't fall. He's fine. No, I meant the dwarf. Or is the dwarf unaffected still? The dwarf's unaffected. Oh, okay. Alright. And there are... two refrigerator-sized giant blobs. Pink blobs. Fuzz blobs. Quick, and a lot, of blue. a lot of little ones. Okay. This will be interesting combat, I suppose. If we get combat, or... Um, dang. What happens if I poke one of the big refrigerized ones with my sword? Roll initiative. Oh. <laughs> one. Fifteen. <laughs> I am so disgusted and disturbed at this point. <laughs> okay. I'm probably slightly exhausted because I'm just. What was your roll? A uh, 15. Gowron, 15. Ion's sad from his fall. <laughs> I got three total. Oh, wow. Yeah. I rolled a one. Um, for being in a really good mood, I'm like the, like, ha ha! <laughs> Red and black and yellow. Alright. So here's what happens Happy Yarin walks up to this, uh, this little pink thing, or this big pink thing, and pokes it with a sword. And it shrivels and turns back and rips open. And this large devil walks out. About six foot tall, sp- 
spikes everywhere, long claws, and it looks at Gowron. And the other one on the other side rips open, and um, a similar creature, only this one black, instead of a reddish color, um, steps out of this pinky thing. Um, Moraine's up here. Mm -hmm. this, is a, this is a ledge. Okay, up top. Um, Ion is down here, and so is Yarin. Well, this is a great place for me. Snipe! 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 So, um, it is Yarin's turn, because Yarin ruled the best. Yeah. You're a very happy aura has made you very good, too. Okay, mm -hmm. attack the red. That would be a 20 with my... Uh, well, shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, that's not that 20. No, no, no. Okay, I figured you that 20. Um, yeah. Yeah, that hits. That is a 12 damage. 12 damage. Damn. Mm-hmm. Oh, my. It's bloody. I'm like, ha ha! <coughs> Very nice. How are you feeling, sir? <laughs> yeah. I'm being helpful. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It is Ion's turn. Ion is going to take a step back. He's going to pull up his crossbow. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's going to play it as an instrument. He's a bard in disguise. And he is going to fire at the black guy. And quickly fail. And yeah, completely miss. Hmm. Okay. It is the black okay. one's turn, right? It is red's turn. Yeah. Red doesn't bite you. Well, obviously not. I woke it up and then uh, I heard it. Really bad. Bad. Um Oh. They have damage resistance. Oh yeah. Fourth edition didn't they have a lot of damages. No, this is this is a uh finder. Oh okay. So um, it's not quite that bad. Yeah, so he's actually That's no, still I did some. That's why it's easy so far. Okay. Um Tacky, you fool. Please. Yeah, so hits happy. with claws, two times on attack, creature gets fight. Okay, so he takes a double swipe claw attack at you. Um, yeah, all right. Um, Sixteen injury scene. Yeah. Okay, you're gonna hit. Get hit twice. Actually, three times is gonna bite me. Yeah, you're gonna do that too, but this. Um, five, that's seven points of damage, that's seven points of damage. Okay. Okay. Um, is Moraine's turn? It is Moraine's turn. Okay, well, um, pretty much I can't do any damage to it. Everything. Um, okay. I can't do, I mean, my crossbow or my bow doesn't do enough damage to You're hurt You're absolutely all. correct. Um, so... The only thing you can do is get in there to the revive flanking and um, deals. I suppose precipitation will work on these ones. That was just the thing in the past. Yeah. Okay. These are your devils. Yeah. Okay, well, um, I need to get down there. Give me a acrobatics check. Okay, well, I'm not quite some acrobatics, unfortunately. Ah, she did this dirty. Well, no, no. As a bard, I can exchange one of my performances. Um, let's see, as uh, it's called versatile performance. So I used dance, and I use that as use that as acrobatics. acrobatics. 
So I have a dance of nine. Twelve. <laughs> You're fine. You get down without hurting yourself. I do a pretty little pirouette. Pirouette down way. Um, and then I start singing to provide plus one attack damage and uh, saves. Okay. Spiders. Plus one to attack. Yep. That'd be good because I'm analyzing this. Um, it is Black's turn. Black is just going to charge down. Yeah, I have two fighters. I didn't miss. I didn't miss. That's great. Good stuff. That's my turn again, huh? No arrows. Okay. No auras. No auras. Um, these are Pathfinder characters. Okay. It is Darren's turn. I'm going to attack red again. 16 plus 5. Plus 1. 22. 22 hits. So that's 8 plus your strength. 12. That's 12. Plus me. 13? 13. Um, versus red? Mm hmm. 10 damage. No, that's 12. 13. 13, yeah, but he has damage resistance. So it's 10 damage, huh? 13. Red? Yep. Say that. It's really bad. Still alive. Um, I on his turn. He's got to take that five foot staff and fire his crossbow. Woo! Eighteen. Nice. Where's the eight? Yep. Two. Three. Four. Does one damage? It like hits a spike and goes. I oh. <laughs> goes. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> He drops his crossbow and pulls his pickaxe. He's strong. Yeah, that's good. Um, it is now Red's turn. Red's got one more chance to kill you to kill it. That is a negative. Uh, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. He's, yeah. kind of, he's looking really bad. He kind of cleaned up my own. Brain. I continue uh, performing bardic stuff. Plus one to everything. Does it continue the plus one? Yep. Alright. Black. Uh, 12. Yep, that will hit my own. He's playing with the characters. Um, also, I have one. Red is 
ticked off at me at this point to see me like kind of bad a little bit. Like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna take his attack. Yes. Ion. Wow, complete missed. You ate that barbie blood, huh? Yeah. Okay. Garen. Although this this round you don't get the plus. Okay. New pluses? No. That okay. is a miss. Continue to barn. Okay. Okay, to go. Um, Garen? Isn't it the black turn? Yeah, the black turn. I'm just, if you take a five foot step this way, then you got plenty. Oh. Oh, sorry. That's fine. Well, no, you were playing with Ion. Yeah. Um, I'm just, he is going to attack Garen. I'm going to attack Ion. I'm going to attack Garen. 16 hit your AC? Yeah, both hit. Okay. That is 5 plus 3. Plus 3. That's 11 
focus damage. Oh god, ouch, I'm bloody now. It is Galrin's turn. Five foot step, flanking. Which is that plus five, that's twenty-one. That's um that hits. Eight. Nine. What? Six. No, 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 wait. Eight plus so all thirteen. Thirteen minus five is eight. If you want, you can describe how you murder right in this devil. I so in two quick movements, I come down at an angle from the shoulder, across, cut him in half, and then cut him in half at the waist. Wow. All right. So Garland goes ahead and very happily slaughters this devil. And it uh, it falls to pieces. And as it falls to pieces, everything just kind of shrivels and dies. All the little things kind of just... And fall in. And uh, you are in an empty basement. And uh, Garen's got a freaking headache. Oh. (laughs) It's like... It's like all other feelings just rushed into you. I hate you, I mean, I... My hometown is destroyed! <laughs> Murdered everyone who was... Sadness. Anger. I'm depressed. Depression. Worry. Hey, it's okay. Moraine is on the way. Heal. <laughs> Fine. Yeah. You can help. I want to. I want to get this down. Yeah. Um, you said it, honey. Um. Let's go see some of the uh, people in, in the town. See yeah, how they're doing. We walk outside. There's a lot of people that are just like, oh, <laughs> like down on their knees, clutching their heads. Somebody's like, where the hell's all my potatoes? <laughs> 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 and carrots. <laughs> I swear I had a basket of carrots. Where'd they go? <laughs> I don't have enough cures to like lose for this. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't think you can heal. Can't, uh, I don't think you can help anybody with brain aches. No. This is an emotional damage. I don't think your lightning does anything. <laughs> but a bard could. But a bard could. And so could her back up. Yep. Let's see how bad I do. Ah, uh, 20. 21. Emotionally, everybody feels better, but now they're all angry at you because you just made their headache worse. Yeah. That's fine. I can deal with that. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a double-edged sword there. Yeah, I mean, you play good music. Oh, good uplifting music, but it was too loud. Yeah. <laughs> Artic performance. Everyone feels better. Uh, let's just go. <laughs> I see you leave the town of... Oh, I never told you what the town was saying was. <clears throat> Corinville. They didn't have any corn. It's Coranville. You know, like that little cat that gives uh, the seeds and rainbow seeds and sends the seeds. <laughs> For sale. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Would you like some corn? No. Silver a bushel. You know what? I'll just take a few few cobs. Here's a silver. Okay. Have a nice day. You Butter. too. Butter and salt. <laughs> <laughs> I lay on the back of the cart and now I'm just like, I'm going to sleep for a while. <laughs> so our day files away with our heroes heading, heading south on the road with their dwarven friend in the little caravan. Mm-hmm. Um, the donkey's name is Daisy because I'm watching a podcast and the donkey's name is Daisy. Okay. Totally got me.
focus on abilities. Yes. So, um, how was that? That was uh, that was good. It was meant to be more combat based. Okay. Um, this adventure was more combat based. Uh, I really like a lot of how things work in Dungeons and Dragons. As opposed to some of the Pathfinder things, like mm -hmm. I don't know the third edition or not, um, but I'm I'm basing everything on fourth edition. Okay, so I have no idea what fifth edition is going to be like, and for everything I know, fifth edition is more like Pathfinder than fourth edition was. So I did take those characters. They are actually a Pathfinder character, but they got the fourth edition aura. Okay. Um, so <laughs> like yeah, ten points of damage. Ooh, <laughs> <you're> no, <laughs> no. <laughs> no, like. <laughs> um, this is actually, this was designed to bring you up in level, okay. and it was not going to be in the book. Okay. So this is technically a chapter, and you actually level up again. <laughs> really? Yes. Um, this whole thing was, this is actually enough XP to get you up like another level or something. We'll do um, that next time. No? Yeah. I'll uh, just, yeah. Or I'll yeah. Here. You're not, you know, doing that. I'm just saying, wow, next time you that's, are level four. That's cool. Um, I have a level two spell. Yeah. And after going through all the math and whatnot, you're still not going to be high enough level to take on the dragon turtle, which is why I turned it into a skills challenge instead of an actual fight. Okay. Because it's just going to be you didn't keep me as a fight. Oh, we can do it fast. <laughs> we can do Okay. I go down the throat to the, or the esophagus and uh, grease fire? <laughs> grease fire stomach acid. <laughs> yeah. I'm giving it indigestion. <laughs> yes. Warg. <laughs> yeah, well, keep out. I hope you enjoyed it. That is the end of chapter 5. Thanks for watching. Listening. Goodbye. Bye.